Hey, what's going on everyone? It's your boy DT here. Thanks for joining me once again. And we are continuing the incredible series of the rise of Bangtan. This is chapter 21, Magic Shop. Man, how much video footage do they have of these boys? It's incredible. Anyway, let's go on ahead and check this out. They're exhausted. Damn. Them boys working hard. <목소리도> 저희 투어 시작하잖아요. 네. 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 
보내주세요 그 차근차근히 거의 모든 사이즈를 다 겪어왔다고 생각하는데 뭐 아스부터 주름이전까지 확실한 거는 쉽지 않아요 흔치 않은 경험들이니까 사실 그냥 그냥 생판 국민이라는 사람을 4만 5천 명 앞에 세워놓으면 보통 발발 떨어져 그룹 방상 소년단이 2년 반의 활동을 마무리하는 월드 투어를 시작했습니다. 서울 올림픽 구경기장에서 열린 이틀간의 공연을 작은 데서부터 점점 큰 데, 정말 저희가 Started from the bottom. 한 스토리예요. 이렇게 차근차근히 성장하고 있는 방상 소년단인데 더 많은 분들에게 저희의 모습을 보여드리는 게 지금으로서는 맞지 않나 그런 생각이 들어서 사이즈를 점점 키워나가고 있다고 생각해요. 오 예스! 그때 저는 이제 올라갑니다 하면 눈을 한번 감고 리프트업이 딱 되면 눈을 한번 떠봐요. 옛날에는 그걸 잘 못했었었는데 지금은 만약에 여기 아미가 없으면 어떡하지? 여기가 다 만져주면 어떡하지? 그래 한번 눈으로 한번 확인해보자. 그때부터는 아 내가 정말 살아있는 느낌을 딱 여기서 보는 것 같아. 아미에게 전할 말을 어딘가에 제가 숨겨두었어요 오늘 오, 바로 여기 여러분들이 들고 있는 아미밤이야 하나 둘셋오 이제 의경 이제 저녁을 약한달 앞둔 친구가 있어요. 이제 그 포인트가 이제 그거였거든요. 이제 기다려 기다려야 되는 사람과 이제 기다리게 할 수밖에 없는 사람. 그 얘기를 들으면서 되게 많이 생각했던 게아 이게 누구 한 쪽이 더 힘들다고 할 수가 없는 없는 거더라고요. 그러니까 이제 뭐 우리가 이제 생각해 보면 우리는 두 시간 반 동안 진짜. 정말 이 틀에 맞춰서 신혼처럼 해야 되는 그래서 어쩌면 기다려주시는 분들보다 더 체력적으로 힘들 수는 있겠죠 근데 보시면 
공연하는 내내 세 시간 동안 같이 소리를 질러, 질러주는 거예요. 그러면 그게 진짜 말도 못할 거예요. 기다리는 사람들이 생각해서 이렇게 열심히 공연을 해주는 거 그런 느낌을 우리는 주는 의무가 있죠. 사람들이 왜 우리 조, 좋아해 줄까? 다들 열심히 하고 그런 것도 있지만 I remember this. I remember this. I think this is from uh, Bring the Soul. I think. <laughs> it's kind of interesting that uh, even the BTS guys, they sometimes ask themselves and wonder, wow, like, why do people love us so much? How, how are we this big and successful? Like, they even have to, like, almost pinch themselves and say, can you believe this? So even they are kind of... Uh, you know, amazed by their success, it seems like. Cause they, they, a few of them kind of mentioned this along the way. Uh, that was a great clip of it right there. Like, who wouldn't be, though? When you think about how far they've come? Watching your videos, the first thing you see is the slate for Big Hit Entertainment. It says music and artist for healing. Right. <laughs> 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 I kind of agree with that. Lips. 
You guys are are the biggest boy band in the world. You know, I, and I, I don't mean any disrespect, but there are people of a certain age who don't know uh, BTS. So just in case you are thinking, I'm making this up, uh, this is the new cover of Time magazine. Yo. Time magazine, people. Seven Korean dudes on the cover of Time magazine. Several times, I believe. Worldwide, the handsome, you know? Here's Camilla! Look at them. With the... They're so cute. It's okay to complain. I don't like flying either. K-pop super group BTS is making I don't know how I'm going to handle again. a flight the more than five hours. Will become the first Korean artist to put a, on a stadium show in the United States. BTS is going to New end York. the North American leg of their tour where the New York Mets play home games. City Field. 48,000 coming here to City Field to a show that sold out in 20 minutes. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. 20 minutes, dude. <laughs> People camped out in tents for oh, days. Wow. Lines snaked around the stadium for blocks wow. made up of thousands of diehard <laughs> BTS fans. A lot Tent of people City. haven't heard of them, so to explain, BTS calls them their army. That means their fans. And right now, the ones who have waited the longest to get to this show are right behind me. You see them right here. Many of these fans have been camped out in a tent city here at City Field since Monday of last week. Right now, week, they've been waiting in line. I am obsessed That's a with line. the way that the world talks about fangirls and the way that the world looks at young female enthusiasm. But my specific interest was in fangirls of boy bands. Then I watch as mainstream news outlets cover the story. Yeah, there's a man who's very confused. That's how I feel. <laughs> What is it about them that makes you so crazy? What's the craziest thing that one of your fans has ever done to try to meet you? Um, we, we don't want to call it crazy, but... Okay. What's the weirdest or craziest thing crazy. a fan has asked you to do? Um, I don't want to call it like weird or crazy, but... Have you guys been injured yet in pandemonium in, in a rush of fans? The fans don't hurt me. I, I hurt myself. <laughs> what's the what's the craziest thing a fan has done? To craziest. You? You've any crazy fan experiences? Memorable. Do they ever grab you and try to attack you? Why is it that the image of young girls screaming their lungs out with excitement for a pop star is considered uh, crazy, scary, a bit much? But the image of young boys screaming their lungs out for a footballer is perfectly normal. I'd looked at images of girls screaming for the Beatles, the Backstreet Boys, One Direction, and the word that had come to mind was not excitement, but hysteria. And what I did not know was the history of that word. That in the 19th century, hysteria was considered to be a legitimate female mental disorder. I get that it. That could be diagnosed by doctors if women displayed excessive emotion or difficult behavior. If girls grow up in a world where words like crazy and psycho and hysterical are casually used to describe female enthusiasm, then how does that shape the way that those girls get to see themselves? Isn't that a little bit like telling them that they are born less capable of rationality than men? 
less capable of reason, and unworthy of the same intellectual respect as their brothers. Okay, I gotta ask you guys, I know I have a lot of female uh, viewers. Do you guys really care how people call you or what people think it's crazy or weird? Whatever words people use to describe your love and enthusiasm. Do you guys really care what people say? Or do you care? Like, does it matter the word choices that people use to describe your enthusiasm? I don't know. I get giddy. I do my Jimmy in, and I don't give a shit what people say about it. But that's just me. Let me know how you guys feel about the word choices when describing someone's enthusiasm. Fangirls know how to do something that most of my adult friends have no idea how to do. They know how to love something without apology or fear. They're so. I've just never been a fan of labeling. You know, labels and a fangirl, fanboy. I, I, I just don't like. I just do me, you know? I don't care. Poorly represented in culture as these like fangirl crazy like mindless and they're the opposite. You have so many fans in the army who are so many different ages, backgrounds, ethnicities, genders. How does that feel? I was thinking that you they're like the main promotional vehicle of BTS to the point where they were buying yeah. billboards for them in major cities. I know. Yeah. Here in the U.S., it's really blown up. The calls and texts we get from your fans here at the radio station, it's just more and more every day, honestly. I can't even imagine what people are saying about me and my BTS tattoos. What would that be considered? Is that crazy? A little. A little. The, uh, the intricacies of what you ARMY do, there's so much coordination and just work that goes into this stuff. What is it about BTS that, that inspires you to put in that amount of work? I'd say that their music really inspires something within all of us. It really makes us want to show up for them, particularly in the United States where they're at a disadvantage as a foreign artist singing in a different language. And so actually on some level, by coming here, by showing up, by fan chanting, we're trying to show the broader media landscape in the United States that they are welcome here and we welcome artists like BTS here. Well Last time said. we spoke about Very you well said, said. Uh, yes. giving back. But it's not only you that are giving back. Your fans, the army, have been inspired by you to give back. First, it starts off thinking, what do the boys love? And what are the things we can do in the name of BTS or army? BTS recently had to cancel a tour. BTS Army started to donate the ticket refunds to the Coronavirus Relief Fund, and they've now raised over $330,000. The BTS Army matches a million dollars in Black Lives Matter donations. Part of me was like, why isn't everyone's fans doing this? Can you imagine if everyone's fans thanked them by organizing charity in their name? For Army, these simple... Well, this is a little bit weird to say right now, or maybe it isn't, but... Uh... I would love for ARMY to help out with the school shootings that happen here in the U.S. so often. Uh, I really hope BTS can shed a light on that soon because uh, it's definitely a problem. And I'd love to see ARMY use their power uh, for, that, for that issue. You know what I'm saying? Simple acts of kindness bring them closer to BTS and to each other. We want to make them proud. <laughs> you do that. really do. And it's all in Korean, right? Yeah. Okay. You learn it. Translate. BTS! BTS! BTS has completely oh, changed wow. our lives. Yes. <laughs> they give so much to us. They oh help God. empower us so much. And they teach me how to love myself. And I, I'm gonna cry. Okay. I really didn't Let it know go, what boo. BTS was or really K-pop for that matter. Mm -hmm. But all of the Let fans it who I tell that to you say, you know, Mark, that's okay. They're gaining one fan at a time. And I don't know. They may be on. Yeah, something. the diversity among Army is really extraordinary. Oh, no. You're my whole. Hi. I'm Jack. That's that. Sid Pilled. Wow. I react Thank to this whole so concert, by the way. Go find it. Go look up. Uh, I forgot which concert it is, Thank but go look it up. Wow. I reacted to this. Yeah. You guys always give us so much energy. You got me the best of it. Yeah, just do a search for City Field in the search box up there. You'll find it. Let's go. Magic Shop and Diamond Rays are soon going well. Magic Shop! Aremyongi, the Diamond Rays are soon going well. 
우리를 찾아내고 알아봐준 여러분들이라면 할수 있을 거다 라는 말을 한 적이 있어요 그 말을 기반으로 이 곡이 시작되었던 것 같고 힘들고 지칠 때 뮤직샵을 Lyrics, man. Beautiful. What if we decided to rethink the words we use to describe that joy? And what if we didn't allow ourselves to diminish girls with words that undermine their intelligence, their interests, and their capability? You know, on that point about, you know, using words and to, not to diminish girls and stuff like that, you know, I consider myself a fairly masculine man. You know, I'm tall, I have muscles, I have tattoos, and I don't care how I look and, and appreciate BTS. I share it on my Instagram with my longtime macho friends, and I don't care what they think. So I think it's about really loving yourself enough not to give a shit, you know? If you want to express yourself in a way that's really big and out there, who cares, do you, boo? That's what I'm about. See, it's really about loving yourself and not caring and just being secure enough to express yourself however the hell you want. I'm here to put the channel to the center of the channel. I'm I love what this band has done. I got interested in the music. And Just got seen it. The there you go. For, and they advocate self love. They you don't get much more masculine failure, than that guy. Uh, they advocate that you are enough. They develop this, this global army that is not just geeked out fans. If we can resonate through the television to you at home, to come out of your pocket to that's get to adorable. a cause, like right? that's work. John that's Cena's work, that's big ass. That's like, that's changing the He's world. a BTS bitch. I love it. You guys just spread love. And I love your army. I love the people who mm -hmm. follow you. Love. They really appreciate your music. But they appreciate the message, the positivity. That's Because of you guys, we are so happy. We wish you guys to be happy too. Loving myself is my whole life for until my death. You know, what is loving myself? What is loving yourself? I don't know. Who can define their own method and the way of loving myself? It's our mission. It's our mission to find, to define our way to love ourselves. So it's never intended, but it feels like I'm using you guys to love myself. You guys taught me through your eyes, through your love, through your tweets, through your letters, through your everything. You guys taught me and 
inspired me how to love myself. So I want to say one thing. Please, please use me. Please use BTS to love yourself. I will. Because you guys taught me how to love myself. Every day. Man. Next time. Damn. Damn. So handsome. Ah, that's right. So what's next for the sensational seven? International diplomacy. I used to look up at the night nice sky wonder, and I used to dream that I was a superhero who could save the world. <laughs> Beautiful form, Jin. <laughs> hey, Jimmy! Yeah! Hey, Jimmy! Don't shut him up! I remember that. <laughs> I love their oh, dude. <laughs> I love their documentaries. They need to do another one soon. Okay, guys. Wow. Another beautiful and moving chapter of the rise of Bangtan. And uh, as I was uh, saying there, um, you know, just because I'm in a good place right now where I, my self-esteem is high, I'm, I feel like I'm very secure at this point in time, uh, that, that doesn't mean that uh, my journey is over. And sometimes I need a little bit of uh, encouragement, reassurance, and so uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a continuous journey to love yourself because we all hit those peaks and valleys. Sometimes we're feeling very confident, sometimes we're not. It's a constant, constant battle. And so, uh, you know, some people need to hear certain things at certain times. So uh, I do agree with that lady who mentioned about uh, we should change the wording we use because sometimes it does hit people really hard because words are powerful, words matter. And words can affect your mood and the way you look at yourself. And uh, yeah, some people need a little bit extra, a little extra encouragement because you never know where a certain person is at, at, a, at, a, at a certain time in life. Some, Like I said, some people are really doing really well and some people aren't. So yes, I agree that words matter and we should choose our words carefully uh, because, you know, just because I'm doing good, uh, I should be I should be considerate of other people who maybe not be doing so good, and I think uh, a lot of people forget that. I hear a lot of the conversations: uh, Are we too sensitive? You know, people are just so sensitive nowadays, and you know, you know, um, it really just depends on where you're at in life, and you shouldn't uh, belittle someone who might be in a sensitive time in life because because life kind of life messes you up. And so people need to be a little bit more empathetic towards others. And just because you're awesome today, it doesn't, it doesn't mean you're going to be feeling so good tomorrow. And so that's an ongoing, lifelong battle and journey to love yourself each and every day. It takes work. And so uh, I appreciate that. And so that was awesome, guys. Another great chapter. A lot of lessons in there. I really took to heart and uh, can't wait for the next one. See you next time, y'all. I'm out.